Hello. Please allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Vincent Scongeli. And today I am going to do, before your eyes, a painting. My grandma taught me to paint. So I will begin. I've already prepared this canvas with the proper base coat. feel the temperament of the canvas. Let the canvas speak to you. Let it. Hmm, okay. This canvas is telling me at this point in time that it is ready for application of paints. Now, today I will be using oil paints. And we will start off with some blue. Just to be a little risque, I think I'll throw in a little bit of red and just a little minute, just just the teeniest, tiniest, minute amount of yellow, a lemon yellow, freshly squeezed from Grandma Squinjelly's lemon tree. Okay. Some people might call that an art. You know, collecting the dingles. Okay. I'll throw that over there. Now the red. The red. Let me see. Let me see what the can. spoke. 
open domain and it's telling me throw on a ton of red so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm just putting this up I'll even throw some up here I really don't care I really don't care because when you're an artist you just gotta do what you gotta do you know what I'm saying yellow well we're just gonna kind of use that as a highlighting device now I think we are begin ready to begin the procedure uh, let me get a little bit of this do you notice that every single time I begin to produce a video an airplane flies overhead did you guys notice that did you just hear I'm going to have to stop by my local FAA authority and have a little, just a little talk. I'm just going to spritz it. That's a little bit of a loosener up. It helps the paint get loosened up. This is a spreading technique, I kind of invented it. Now I will do a smoothing effect, blending all the paints into a homogenific type of pattern. As I sit here and I look at my canvas, I think to myself, self, I think I need something to brighten it up. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take some of this white right here. And it seems to be giving me a little trouble, as most paints do. And I'm thinking up in the zone right here. See the zone? Let's go ahead. I'm going to use a new tool. You see that effect it creates? Oh, believe me. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I was to go like this. Well, 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 look what's happening right there. You see what I mean? When you do things kind of crazy, things tend to happen. I think I'm liking that right there. I think I'm liking that a lot. Clean off my scraper and get one more. See what I did there? See all this paint over here. Let me mix that up real pretty like. That's made quite a beautiful purple. Kind of like a 
crepe. Let me load up my ballot and see what I can do with that. I'm thinking like, I don't know, maybe like, like maybe right. Oh, that is beautiful. I like that. Let me just. Get this all mixed up real nice. spasmatic hands to mix paint properly. Let's load up the knife and we will do it one more time. Yes, that is exactly what I was going for right there. Exactly. Now, as I look to myself. This looks really nice right here. I, I like that. But I'm not liking this uh, corner up in here. It's too dark. I want to bring out some beauty. And that's when I go to my next tool. This little beauty right here. I want to do a little, a little finagling around. Let's see what we can get. stippling effects, which means that this time I'm going to have to mix up some paint. So, I shall do just that. Let me move these around a little bit. Look at that right there. Okay, I got my mixing device here. Let's go for some is what I has to do. See that right there? Watch this. Boom. Boom. Done. That's what I call the Vinton Squid Fairy Star Effect. I'm seeing like a comet. 
might shoot into the atmosphere really. Let me just see if I can't replicate that in some way, such as, such as that. That's exactly what I was going for. Okay, it's time we're going to switch over to some brushes. Namely, Let's see what we can do with this. I think we ought to throw a little more yellow in there. What do you think? And I'm doing this to Vince and Squinge really well. And now we will make those look homogenous, you know, homogenify these edges like this. I am simply going to haphazardly mix these onto my little palette. And you know what? Let's add a little bit of flowing juice into this mix, shall we? And so things flow nicely.
And it helps it to blend and flow a little better. Okay, I think we are ready to proceed at this point. And let's do a little of this. this tool right here. We call this my paint move tool. And I'm going to do this. Business. It's time to 
time is money and money is time. I got some collections to make this afternoon. And I'm thinking of doing a little on this. Vincent Swingeli. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. An absolute masterpiece. Maybe in.